Hey guys, it's Dima from Dimos Tech, and today we are creating a rubber ducky prank which will eject the CD-ROM of a victim's computer in random time. Okay, so first of all, let me explain a little what this will do. Basically, whenever uh, someone forgets to lock his computer or you just want to prank him, you insert the rubber ducky, uh, it will run a command in the run, you unplug your rubber ducky and you can go. In a random period of time, every time, so basically until they restart the computer or stop the PowerShell script, they will every few seconds and will configure how many seconds uh, have a very interesting thing happening. Uh, their CD-ROM will be ejected. So obviously if you are trying to run it on someone's computer which is a laptop that doesn't have a CD-ROM, it's useless. But in our case, we uh, are just showing this and we won't even run it. Uh, I did run it on my other computer, but I cannot show you sadly the effect since uh, the computer sits in a very dark area and I have no way to uh, shoot it on a video. Anyway, let me explain you what's going to happen. So first of all, uh, in order to uh, actually eject the CD-ROM, you need those two commands. Now, first to be honest, I found on uh, Google Nothing special, uh, you can find our methods, that's just a regular method which goes to something that is connected with uh, the Windows Media Player and basically it uh, finds the CD-ROM and then ejects it. Uh, let's go ahead and run it, I'm not really sure what will happen if we'll run it on that computer. So yeah, that won't be recognized in this computer since we do not have any CD-ROM. But trust me, if we'll run it on a computer that does have a CD-ROM, you won't see any error and it will run normally without any issue. I tested it couple of times on two computers already. So uh, that's pretty much it, what it will actually run, what will actually do the prank itself. This is the whole uh, script, the PowerShell script, but uh, since we uh, want to do it fast and without any notice and we don't want to leave anything, uh, what I'm going to do is run basically the same thing in a one line script script, in a one-line command, let's call it. Basically, it's the whole script that you saw down, but this one is in one line. So basically what it does, uh, it runs PowerShell, it will run it in hidden, so Windows style hidden, and it in enter the command, which is that uh, script. Now, uh, please note that in order to make it a one-liner, in a few places, like for example, you know what, let's go ahead and check, where is it? Here it is one. So uh, you'll see that I put this, I'm not really sure how to call it, semicolon? I forgot. Anyway, you put this in order to actually uh, skip to the next line, because if you want to do that, you'll receive an error. So that thing basically makes our whole script a one-liner. Uh, now please note that if uh, you are running a custom script, not that one, but something else, if that one will exceed 260 characters, you will not be able to run it in the RAM. So if you'll actually go to the RAM, uh, to uh, here, and you have something longer than 260, you will not be able to run it here. So keep that in mind. Uh, this one actually, if we will uh, do it like this, and think if we will this. So we will look here under, and yeah. So that one is 206 uh, character. That will basically allow us to run it in the run. So uh, what's happening in that script? So first of all, we're entering a while, uh, while it's true and it's always true unless we actually stop the file. This line will basically create uh, a variable and it will always uh, put a new uh, character there. And basically what we're going to do is get random, minimum is currently 10, and maximum is 240. So basically it will take something between 10 seconds and 240 seconds every time uh, something else and after that period of time it will eject the CD-ROM. So for example it took 10 seconds here, for example obviously. Uh, it will sleep for 10 seconds here, so sleep uh, minus seconds and the one that we entered, so for example 10 seconds. And then after that it will actually run the command to eject the CD-ROM. And after it's done it will start over and over and over and over again without any stop unless again the 
user will disable the script by killing the PowerShell process or restart the computer, for example, or something like that. Uh, it's pretty much easy to stop it, but it's a nice prank. Uh, it will take uh, a normal person a few minutes at least to realize what's going on. It's pretty much annoying, but it's a nice prank, so you can prank your friends. Uh, I'm actually going to use that one, probably at work, on someone who will uh, forget to lock his computer. So, uh, if anyone from my work watching this, be ready, I'm gonna do this. Now again, it's harmless, it won't harm anything. That's the script, but uh, we do need to run it in the rubber ducky. So let's move ahead to the rubber ducky commands. So basically here you can see the rubber ducky commands. Uh, it's pretty much straightforward, nothing almost changes. Uh, we are using pretty much the same thing all the time. Uh, basically, as you can see, it's very short, except this line, as I said, it will include all the 200 and something characters there. So basically, first of all, we have regular delay. This is just for the rubber ducky to get suitable for the computer, to prepare the driver, etc. Uh, sometimes you will need more, sometimes you might need less, but basically a delay of 1000 should be enough. Then it will start GUI R, so basically the run, it will do this, and enter uh, after a small delay, after the window will pop up, uh, it will enter a string of the PowerShell and the whole command, the whole script in one line, and press enter. So basically this will run it in hidden, you won't see any PowerShell window, uh, except in the task manager, if you'll go to the task manager you will see that one and you'll be able to kill it from there. But uh, you won't see anything on the screen. And that's pretty much it, it will run in the background and you don't have to do anything. After this command is run, after this enter basically, you can unplug the rubber ducky and enjoy the show. So now that we have our commands for the rubber ducky, let's go ahead and prepare the rubber ducky injection file. First of all, let me just grab the rubber ducky uh, SD card and plug it in. Okay, so now that we have our rubber ducky SD card, let's go ahead and do the commands. So basically, first of all, we need to go to the duck encoder. Uh, let's go ahead and open our uh, CMD here. We can do it from PowerShell as well. And I think I remember the commands correctly. Let's try that. Minus i, which is the input, and we should go to uh, cd, okay, so that, and then uh, minus o, which is output, we should use e dot, um, yeah, inject dot bin, yeah, without caps lock. Sorry. Okay, so I did some mistake and it created the inject here, but uh, let's go ahead and move that one to the E drive. So that's pretty much it. Now we have the inject.bin on our rubber ducky SD card. Basically now we can uh, put it in the rubber ducky go ahead to a computer that has a CD-ROM, uh, while it's unlocked, uh, insert the rubber ducky, uh, wait for it a few seconds just to enter the command, and unplug and go ahead and watch the show. So that's pretty much it guys, you know what to do, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, although you shouldn't, and as always don't forget to subscribe, and when you do don't forget to ring that little bell to receive future video updates, and as always, see you in the next one!